Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. Today, I have a gun that you would have expected me to do a PvP video, but I want to do a PvE video because I have hundreds, literally hundreds, of uh, Iron Banner tokens. I don't know that I'm even going to turn them all in. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? They're in here somewhere. There they are. 332. Uh, hundreds of Iron Banner tokens. So I got a Claws of the Wolf. I had four or five of these <laughs> drop, just messing with tokens. And uh, I got this one. And I was looking for one with a PvP setup. But I got this one with a pretty nice PvE setup. So I've got Claws of the Wolf, Perrin Strike, but it's so fast and true that our enemies wouldn't realize their fate until it was too late. Lord Saladin. So it's a rapid fire frame. It is a uh, fast, fast firing pulse rifle. It's not full auto, but it shoots really, 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 really fast. Really, really, really fast. That's a sniper rifle. And uh, mine came with arrowhead brake, corkscrew rifling, high caliber rounds, flared magwell, head seeker, and rampage. So head seeker and rampage are what make it really interesting to me in PVE. I don't like Rampage in PvP because you don't get that many kills with a clip. And once you reload, you have to reset the clip to get uh, Rampage going again. Now this one has the 33 round mag. I would have liked it with the 44 or the 45 that you can get. I think Rampage will persist if you get a kill pretty quickly after reloading. So I don't think reloading cancels it, but I really like this one with Headseeker and Rampage for PvE. I, mean, I don't mind it. Look, it just kind of chews right through them. I'm doing a lost sector. We're gonna we'll clear this whole lost sector with this gun. But I want to know what you guys think um, initially. When you got a claws of the wolf, did you want to use it in PVE or PVP? I kind of wanted to use it in PVP, but I use it. And I didn't really like it. So this might be a part one, part two type deal where we use it in PVE, and then we go back to PVP and try it again later. I might do it both this morning. I don't know. It'll be two separate videos either way. So. Uh, hello wanted Zerg the unstoppable weight the unstoppable weight is that the name you came up with I don't know that that's a, that's a good name have a grenade it's good for you it'll help it'll help with that weight Ooh, this is a short loss sector don't fall off don't fall off don't fall off Zerg Ooh, had ammo. well I was gonna keep shooting him with that oh and that one has no ammo all right listen Let's uh let's let's punch it out now. Punch it out now. Punch it out now. Punch out a little fire. Complete this bounty. I bet you I get the Queen's Breaker's bow on live on the video. What do you think? What do you think? Queen Break Queen Breaker incoming? I don't know. I like that reload. Tempered metal works very well with this gun on your Titan. Good fast reload, so let's see what else we got. What else we got? So what do you guys think about Claws of the Wolf? Are you using PvE, PvP? I really like this role, Head Seeker Rampage. But I wanna know what you think. So let me know in the comments. Let's get some loot, open a bounty, and uh, see what we got. See what we got. You ready? You ready? Nope, just a scatterhorn mark. But anyway, that was fun. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And if you want to see a PvP video on this gun from me, let me know in there too. So, until then, just like some I'm Death and Bob, and I'll see you later.